Good evening. Welcome to the reading room. This is your girl, Zon. Hello. The time now is like 10.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Michigan. And it's um, November 19th, 2021. It is a Friday evening. So happy Friday to everybody. I hope you all are going to have a great weekend. Do something fun, family fun before everybody gets crazy in the kitchen with the ladies, with your young daughters with even your sons, you know, everybody just in the kitchen cooking or just the mom or just the OG grandma cooking in the kitchen for everyone. But I hope you all have a truly blessed and wonderful Thanksgiving. Just be grateful for who you have and what you have around you this year in your family, your close friends, your best friends, your children, your significant other. Like I said, for Thanksgiving this year, it's just going to be Hamilton and I here. But we may go over to my in-laws to, to visit them for a minute or so. So we'll see what's going to go, what's going to happen on Thanksgiving Day. But before I get started, make sure you grab yourself a snack, something to drink of your choice, or just sitting back and relaxing this video. Or if you're a new subscriber, Thank you so much, and thank you for hitting that notification bell. And make sure you subscribe, comment, and like to the beauty room. So let's get started into the video of what bags I have here. It is Target, of course. And Dollar Tree, yes. For Christmas next month. And yes, so... Let's get started into the first bag here of Target. These were about, I think I want to say about $5. And these are the indoor or you can use for outdoor starry lights for just $5 at your local Target in their bullseye area that they have in. And yes, for $5, not bad. And this one is also $5 as well. I got two of them. And it qualifies for two AA Echelon batteries. It's not included, but that's what it, that's what you had to put into here, um, into the container. So, yes, I'm going to put that like around here on the blinds. Oh, I'm sorry, or, like around the like on the blinds or something like that for Christmas. You know, to be more fessed up into the beauty room. That is just from Target and from Dollar Tree. Are oh, these cute, adorable like stocking stuffers that you can get? Um, one's for Hamilton and one's for me. So, yeah, we're going to put these two up on um, like near a wall near the tree. We're going to have we haven't put up the tree just yet because it's you know it's so much right now because we're working this weekend and I'm working next week, so yes. So, um, yep, that's just for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And then I thought I'd get some cute gift bags this year. Very nice gift bags. I always get something different every year. So this is just with the Santa Claus sleigh and then the presents and then the tree for just one dollar at your Dollar Tree. So definitely check out your Dollar Tree for gift bags. So this was super cute. Love it. That's going to be for my mother-in-law. And then this is going to be for Hamilton's dad, which is my father-in-law. And then I have a bag for Hamilton, but his bag is completely different. So this one says, have a holly jolly Christmas. So the, uh, I thought I'd get this for uh, for Hamilton's dad. So for a dollar, yeah, I'm going to put some stuff in there. And then what else did I get? And then, of course, I always get hooks. So, a package of hooks from the Dollar Tree, which is a dollar. Or you can go to your local Walmart and see what Walmart has for their, for their LED lights or for their hooks. So, get them now while you can at your local Walmart. And definitely check out Target, too, for their hooks, too, as well. So, yeah, that's the end of the video. Sorry, this is the, the shortest video ever this is the shortest video ever i'm so so sorry 
because it's just been a lot going on like i said and just work 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 it is all we do right now because our jobs our job our jobs needs us right now because the time around Christmas, like before thanksgiving it gets hectic you know us cashiers and every register is always open for um every customer's access and needs so yeah um so i definitely hope you liked the video um definitely go to your local uh walmart dollar tree and definitely go to target or anything that you see in bullseye to put in somebody's stocking stuffer so there's quite some things i want to put in hamilton stuff um stocking stuffer so we'll do a vlog of putting up the tree and decorating the tree we'll do that soon when we can get unbusy so okay i just want to make sure that candle wasn't going to follow which is not so that is from this candle is from ikea and it's about a 25 hour candle that will make your room smells so divine it smells so good yes so and then at my job, I tell my boss what I want to do for the children, even for adults, you know. I, I'm going to be an elf this year. I've never, ever done it since I've been working there. So I'm going to, um, to do, I'm going to be an elf. So I got my outfit all get all together. I got my, uh, my, I got my elf ears. Let me show you. Hold on. So this is my makeup bag from Shein that I got for five dollars super cute you can put all kinds of things in here so I'm going to show you what's inside here this is the uh, the the witchy spirit gum and remover combo pack where like you know for Halloween stuff so this is what I'm going to use for the elf ears let me show you the elf ears it's super cute they're just so cute these are the elf ears that I'm going to wear on top of my ears here so I can look, you know, like an elf. And then these are the cute tights that I got. They're in an extra large. So this is what I'm going to wear underneath my, uh, my elf outfit. And the outfit is super thin so I got to make sure I dress completely warm with like a long sleeve shirt and something else to cover because it's so thin like where you can really see like you know so i gotta get some other stuff for that and then of course i got the veil so i'm gonna wear it around my neck to irritate people at work so <laughs> yes i'm gonna be irritating elf this year so but no but i'm gonna be a happy elf so it's just for the kids because i know like a lot of people you know are just real down out really down and out this year right now because of the COVID-19 that's that number one and then some people have lost their loved ones um this year and last year so it's going to be a pretty much damper for everyone but I just pray that everybody still lift their heads up with their hearts and spirits knowing that their loved ones are with them in spirit you know by the grace of God and his mercy because only God knows why God takes our loved ones from us so definitely keep that in mind and then the word I mean the word message for this um for this week I think I said grateful yeah grateful be grateful for who you have in your life your significant other your children your grandparents, your in-laws, your parents, your husband's parents, your children, of course, your very, very best friends that you grew up with since childhood and since you're all adults now, you know, and even your college, you know, colleagues that you've been knowing since high school and college that you've grown up with. And just to really be grateful for that. That is the word for the week is grateful. And one more word I'm going to say for next week i don't know yet but i'm thinking about a good word but yeah i hope you all have your wonderful thanksgiving list already done and your grocery shopping for thanksgiving already done hope you're gonna make some good turkey some good sides like some mac and cheese some yams and dressing and some greens that's what hamilton is, are and i are going to eat and have is a roast 
mac and cheese, greens, dressing, or how do you say dressing? Do you say dressing or stuffing? I say dressing because it's like on a side dish. But some people put it in, into their turkey. So I just call it dressing for me because I can't have turkey. And me being a diabetic type 2, I can not have turkey. I can have ham, but it has to be basically like kind of like plain. So, you know, I don't know what Hamilton and I are going to do this year. So we'll see for Thanksgiving dinner. We haven't figured that out yet. But we want to just get Thanksgiving out the way for our list. And then we're going to also, I'm going to make some cornbread. That's what I'm going to do, some cornbread muffins. So that's going to be for Thanksgiving. And also, I got this um, tonight. And this is Hamilton's, like, favorite. It's, it's a, um, pistachio, <laughs> um, artificial flavor, jello pudding. So this is what he wants for Thanksgiving is for me to make this. And then I'm going to make him another one, too, for Christmas. So it was, like, under, like, $2. So that's what he wants for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to make him that. And also, I think I kind of want a pasta salad, but I don't want too much to have in our refrigerator. So... We're going to have this for a couple of weeks and you know how you can make turkey sandwiches turkey salads you know uh, the turkey salad that goes on top of your bread you know take to work save you all some money you know maybe get something to drink or maybe have something to drink so the only thing that i have to get for hamilton and i is just our drinks so we drink soda um i'm trying my best I said after Thanksgiving is when I'm going to stop completely drinking soda because I'm a diabetic too and I shouldn't be having all that sugar. So yeah, that's what I'm going to really do this year. Just after Thanksgiving, just stop drinking soda completely because I need to get it together because Hamilton and I will be married in the next, um, next month will be eight months to go for our wedding. It's like... Oh my goodness, like the days, the weeks, the months roll by. It just comes so quick because you're so blessed and grateful to have somebody in your life. And God made that person just for you. And God made you for that person as well. And when you get engaged, it's like, oh, okay, yes, we're engaged. We're joining our engagement, which Hamilton and I have been doing for the past year. Really enjoying our engagement. So we um, set up an appointment at JCPenney's. Um, portrait photo shoot to do engagement pictures for our engagement for our engagement bridal party for me and you know so that's what we're going to do and then we're also going to save the date so we haven't figured out what invitations we want for that because we want people to know now so about around february or march send the invitations out to at least 20 to 50 people you know, not that much because COVID is still going to be happening in 2022. So, you know, we don't know how many people are going to show up, but we do have a caterer. We do have a DJ. Thank the Lord Jesus. But we're still debating on like three other ones that we want to really have for the reception. So we're doing that and just figuring out a lot of stuff because I was going to really hire a wedding planner. But I said, Don, you do not need to do that because that's very expensive to do it yourself, you know. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing my wedding planning with my mother-in-law because, with my future mother-in-law, because I just want her to be involved in it to have, and to really enjoy it with me and which she is. So we're going to take a day that we have off the same exact day and just get things done with, you know, Hamilton's permission, of course, because he's involved in the wedding and he's very involved you know planning the wedding with me and i thank god that i have a man that likes to be involved in stuff like that you know because most men don't say hey babe do what you do here's the money here's the check you know so and um my parents are going to be there and hamilton parents are going to be there so yeah it's just going to be a really good time at a wedding of course you know the beauty room family you know your girl got you for hamilton's i special day we got you we got you we got you Yes, so we're doing that, and for the bridal shower, of course, I'm going to be vlogging of that. And also, Hamilton's going to be doing a guy's night for his bachelor party, so he promised me it's going to be low-key and just to enjoy himself of his last few days or day, well, 24 hours, you know, before he become a married man. So, he's going to have a really good time. I'm going to have a good time with my 
friends, you know, people that I invited, you know, to the bridal shower. So it's just going to be a really good time and we're just truly blessed. So yeah, that's it of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe. Please tell your family and friends all about the beauty room. And don't forget to go to Aries Gaming right now. Check out Aries Gaming dot Check out Aries Gaming on YouTube channel. That's my fiance's YouTube channel, Hamilton. Aries Gaming. Go comment, like, and subscribe. Thumbs up his videos. Make sure you leave any comment that you want so that you can so he can get more uploads for new for new uploads and future uploads. And definitely, I hope you all have a blessed and truly blessed and grateful weekend. Before I go, I'm gonna say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father God, I just thank you, God Jesus, for this morning. For waking us all up this morning, oh God, with, with six feet above and not, not six feet under. God, we thank you for our children, God. We thank you for our loved ones, our parents, our in-laws, our best friends, our friends, family, family of friends. God, we just thank you for who you are and what you are in the head of our life. Continue, continue to bless our children that's in school, Father God. Let them have a great day each and every day, Monday through Friday for school. Let them have a blessed and wonderful weekend and really be happy this year and next year to have their dreams and goals set and made for themselves. Whatever dreams and goals that they want to accomplish, whatever um, great that they're in now and want to go to a great and wonderful university, a college, a top college, or even community college, God. God, you just bless the parents to bless them each and every day. Give them strength each and every day. People that they lost in their family, Lord, just give them strength, com um, comfort their heart in due time, God, Lord. God, just bless each and every individual marriage, Lord, relationship, um, man, woman, or whichever relationship that everybody is involved in because love has no limits, Lord. And I just thank you, God, for that, Lord. Just bless each and every relationship and couple, God. I just thank you for the new subscribers that are coming to the beauty room and every scam god just thank you for each and every subscriber that has subscribed already or that's coming now and just thank you thank you god just thank you for your involvement your love and your support for the beauty room and every scamming god thank you for each and every subscriber and i i got you i god just please bless them show them favor grace and mercy in jesus name and ask and pray amen say that prayer with me you are truly truly blessed um just be relaxed and be grateful that's the word of the week grateful for the weekends and next week i'll think of a word are you can you think of a word for me to say next week think of a word that it will relate to you all so let me know in this in the description box below so let me know what word you think i shall say for next week and I'm going to continue this on to the all the end of November. And then December, we'll think of each word every week. So, God bless. Stay safe and stay encouraged. Dream big to the sky. Believing in yourself is, is very possible. It's not impossible. It's possible. So, trust in yourself. Trust in God. Believe in Jesus Christ. And everything will be okay. And you got this, okay? Have a good evening, everyone. Have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye. See you next video.